Hi there, it's Tracy here from the Paper Craft Studio. Thank you for joining me today. Today I'm going to show you how to make this arrow fold card. It's an arrow fold tuxedo card. So there we go, that's it stood up and it opens up and there's the arrow fold. Okay, so I decided to do this for this month's um, one of the projects for my kits because um, it's Father's Day coming up and um, but if you, you know, if that's not appropriate for you, then you can use it as a male birthday card or an anniversary card or something like that. So let me show you the supplies that you'll need. Pop that to one side. So you'll need a piece of basic black card sock and this measures eight and a quarter by five and a half inches. You need a piece of basic white card stock and this measures five and a quarter by three and seven eighths. So I'm just turning my notes over here because it goes on for two pages. Um, and then for um, something to write on the back, you need another basic white layer. And this me measures five and a quarter by three and seven eighths um, also. And then you need to have some basic black cardstock um, to cut some uh, some of the dies from the suit and tie dies. So I've used this lapel, um, the buttons here, the little pocket, uh, the bigger bow tie, the little center for the bow tie. Have I used anything else? Oh, and to cut this little uh, pocket handkerchief here, I've used this one and I'll just show you here because I've gone ahead and cut them, but I've just lined it up on some Costa Cabana like that and popped it through so you're not cutting the whole piece you're just cutting off some little triangles okay so um this is carrying on into the new catalogue um there is a coordinating stamp set handsomely suited if you um buy these together before the end of june you'll get 10 percent discount and then in the new catalogue they're separate items you can buy them separately anyway you could just buy the dies if you wanted to okay so let's go ahead and show you how to make this so we'll work on the um basic black card base first so i'm actually going to bring in my trimmer for this one quite often if i'm scoring i use the scoring board but um the scoring uh kind of uh at diagonal so we need to use this okay so first of all um we're going to score on the long side and it's just to um score a, a line down the middle so we're going to line it up at four and one eighth and score there okay so now we've got our center point turn it around to the short side and you want to make a mark uh, in the center at the top so that is two and three quarters you line up the two and three quarters pop that down and I'm just going to use my stylus here just to make a little mark there. You could just use this, um, but sometimes I end up with a more of a line. Okay, and then you need to turn it round again um, with the with the mark in the center that you've just made pointing this way. And then you're going to line this side up at two and one sixteenth. So that's just the little line here just after the two. And again, just pop a little mark you can do a pencil mark if you can see it on there and then one on this end as well okay so these are your guidelines now as to where you want to score in order to make this arrow fold at the back okay it's quite hard to see actually let me see if I can put something underneath it so that's that's uh what it looks like um because it's hard to see on the back a black background gosh I'm getting my words mixed up tonight okay so first of all we're going to line up this uh, score mark we made up here and line it up with I might just need to open that out this halfway score mark so we're we're lining up those two those two there so we're scoring from that little mark all the way down to the halfway point so line both bits up in the in the groove on your um, trimmer and you can do this with just a stylus or a bone folder and um, a ruler um, but I'm just going to do it with my trimmer and then you need to slide it to the other point one shot yeah we made on the side here so slide it round again and keep this center point here so just line it back up if you haven't got them both in 
and again another score and we're going to do the same on the other side so this midway point here on the fold for the card and the middle that we scored i will put a little mark at the top so there we go score that one and then we're going to slide it round again to this i think it was two and one sixteenth wasn't it here and line up that middle one again there we go that looks good and uh, score there so you can see i think the score lines it's kind of like a little starburst here okay let's move that out the way i should as well just apologize you might not even notice but i'm very conscious of it i have like kind of peeling um fingers at the moment it's a bit of a stress thing i've had um i've just i've had tonsillitis and um we just had a bit of a situation as a family so we're all on the right track now but it's just <laughs> just shows on my hands unfortunately okay so fold the card in half and that's obviously going to be your card base just give it a little run over with that and then with with this first score line here that goes to the center you're going to fold that one backwards and give it a little um, burnish and then pull this score line back towards you okay so then you can just see this kind of lapel pointing out there okay so again with this uh, this is your front so you're going to fold away just score that and then with this one here you're going to pull back okay so there's your arrow there we go so that's how it looks as it folds down um, what we're going to do we're going to stick this in place but we only want um, to stick it as far as this one we can stick right down this one we have to be careful not to go over this bit okay so let's go ahead and put glue on these two panels here Oops. just open that out a sec so this is on the inside of the card okay so we're just going to glue oops that's lots of I don't have to shake it a lot to get it out on these two panels that are going to be completely stuck down. Let's fold those in. Okay, you can do obviously one at a time. I've got some glue oozing out there. Let's get rid of that a second. It's only a little bit. There we go. Oh, and down here, gosh. Don't put glue too near the edge. <laughs> It will um, actually dry clear though anyway, if you're using um, the Tombow liquid glue. And then this is the one where you need to be careful because obviously you don't want this bit having glue on. So um, just have a little look how far over it goes. So about to there, and then just don't go below that mark. Okay, it doesn't, ooh, it doesn't matter if you're not quite at the bottom anyway, because it will still hold in place. And then again, on this side, don't go too low. There we go. So it's meant to be a really lovely weekend here in the UK um, coming up. Actually, my dad's birthday tomorrow, so we're having a little celebration, um, meeting a, a few family and friends. We can actually meet up to 30 people outside now. Um, in the restrictions and um, and I've got quite a big birthday on Tuesday so we're kind of having a bit of a, a combined little gathering so it's not a party but it's just a little get together okay I need to bring my scoreboard back in to do the front now bring my um, trimmer in again for this one so we've got the the piece of basic white that's going to go on the front here and we need to mark again at the center point so on this one it's two and five eighths okay so again i'm just going to put a little mark there and then we're going to cut from so the the marks here we're going to line up that center point it's quite hard to see without getting my head in and this um this corner here so and this time we're cutting that away i like to just start already on the um the piece if i'm sliding into the middle and again do the same on this side so line up the center and pop this one in the groove there we go so we're left with this triangle these can be used for you know stamping sentiments at another point 
Um, and then uh, what we're going to do as well, I'm just going to bring my scoreboard in for this because I quite like doing it on here, is um, along the five and a quarter inch length here, we're going to pop in. Can you see the one here? I've done some little lines like on a shirt. I don't know how well you can see that. There we go. Uh, um, <clears throat> excuse me, just to make a shirt front. Okay, so we're going to score at one and seven eighths, two and one eighths, and two and three eighths. And then we're going to move along a little and score at two and seven eighths, three and one eighths, and three and three eighths. Okay, I'll put the uh, measurements on my blog. So that just gives that little shirt front detail. And then we can go ahead and glue this onto that front uh, panel. There'll be a small border all the way around. Uh, let's see if I've lined that up. So I was going to leave it like that because you do actually have that kind of little lapel, but I really liked it with the extra detail on here and you don't actually have much to, to um, be able to stick on. Um, let me get these pieces out. If you've got this in a kit, you'll already have these pieces cut out for you. Um, slide all these out. I've also made it so that the bow tie will um, spin round as well. And that's using one of the new brads um, from a set in the catalogue. So first of all, what you want to do, we've cut um, the lapel from the suit and tie um, suite, and then we're just going to cut that in half down here. So we're just going to snip that in the middle so that you've got two halves there. And then what we need to do is you've only just got enough edge to do this and it's because it wanted to be smaller that v you just have to manipulate it a little bit so when you go to stick this on you're going up to cover that that piece at the top that piece of white and then as best you can bring it down to the center uh, down to the center here so na naturally it doesn't it wants to go further in but just kind of manipulate it um to go where you want it to go so i put the finest line of glue um onto here um, you can do little dots probably easier um, <laughs> my glue's gonna suddenly rush out in a minute isn't it if you're not confident put some on a piece of scrap um, there we go just to get it going um, because you really want this close to the edge down here I'm just picking up these these little dots of glue that I've left over there okay so pop some glue along okay so what I did was actually I've done the other side haven't I this I'm going to line it up just on the top of this white piece so it kind of sticks to a bit of the white and a bit of the black so if you line up that top corner as close to the edge as you can and then just kind of manipulate this piece round and it won't quite follow the V there it won't quite reach the bottom but it's as good as and if you get a little bit of glue there don't worry because it will dry um, clear and then just check that you've got this one the right way around before you start popping your glue on. So again, I'm just going to pick up some dots and go just along that edge. And probably try and squeeze. Oh, there we go. Squeeze some out now. And I didn't go right to the bottom because it's quite tricky to get on that little V. Okay, so again, line up the top. And then feed that one down. That one seemed to be a bit easier. Maybe because I'm right-handed. <laughs> That's on my right side. Okay, so you really don't have, it's really not stuck onto very much, but you know, it's only going to be open like for a card. So people aren't going to be throwing it around. <laughs> um, there we go. Okay, so yeah, I just liked that extra detail. And then we're going to go ahead and pop the um, the bow tie on. So we're going to stick uh, these two pieces together, first of all, 
you don't have to put this um, central piece on if you don't want to. It's not um, it's not going to make the world a difference if you don't, but I quite like it on there. Okay. There we go. So that's just stuck onto there. And then you need something um, sharp, um, like a... Um, like um, a tool like this or um, you could you know if you've got a compass around or you could just use the very tip of your scissors or a sharp knife but what you want to do is just pop a, a small hole here in the middle um, like that and what we also want to do is to put this at the top of the card so pop that down on something spongy as well and go through uh, that one as well okay and then I've popped in your kit a little brad. It's a tiny little brad, and I'll just show you actually quickly where they're from. So these are round and square brads from the new annual catalogue. You get black and white, so you get, as it says on the tin, some, oh, they're all stuck together here. I can't get those apart, here we go. Some, uh, you get some black and white squares, or you get some tiny, um, let's see if I can actually get one out. Oh, I'm picking up all the squares. Here we go. Tiny black and white um, circles. And it's great to have brads in the catalogue again. We love brads. Okay, so I don't know if mine's still lined up here, but you're going to poke the brad right through all of those layers and then just split the back down. Okay, so that's going to be how your bow tie can spin. There we go. And then we're going to pop the buttons on. I think if you've got a, a kit from me, I put five in, one in case you want to put five down. I just put four here if you want to put five, but also if one dropped out, um, because obviously they're teeny tiny and um, not the easiest to see. Um, you will notice if you look closely that there is a little detail on one side um, and not on the other. So I'm going to turn, I'm going to put glue dots on mine. So I'm going to have the back facing up while I'm putting, oh, <laughs> I lost one of mine, while I'm putting the glue dots on. Oh gosh, I can't pick it up. Here we go. Which side's that? There we go. So glue dots on the back. Um, you need to roll them slightly um, to put them on because they're a little bit too big. So I started near the bottom so that I knew roughly where I wanted that one to be. And then popped my next one. You could use glue, of course, for this. I popped my next one nearish the top and then just have a little look on here to see where you want these spaced out so that they're kind of even oh <laughs> maybe pin pin your um card down with something there you go so keep them <laughs> keep them in place they don't have to be perfect but um at least it gives you a guide of where you're going to put them i'm going to flip that one over and then one more I love these dies. They're so versatile. I've um, seen so many great cards with them. There we go. And if you've got any glue dot sticking out, you can just poke it under. There we go. How smart is he looking? Did I lose one of my triangles as well? I did. Okay, so the pocket piece here, there's two pockets in the set. I've chosen just a strip because there wasn't an awful lot of room here. Um, and I've um, popped some dimensionals under there but first of all I've just all I've done for these pieces is just put put some glue on the back tiny dot and then kind of stuck them together down the bottom here so you want the long edge at the bottom and then they just kind of overlap each other like that and that was the best way I could find to make a little kind of pocket handkerchief and then this is going to sit over the top so I think that looks quite cute um if you don't have mini dimensionals and I don't even know actually if they'd be thin enough to go under there but you can cut an edge strip off of your regular dimensionals but you can cut an edge piece like I say from the regular dimensionals or even from this these mini ones um you get quite a border on these so it's quite a good way to use that up actually I made that too long. I might just snip that off a little bit. It doesn't have to go all the way along. 
I love, love, love doing fancy fold cards and I will, I keep saying this, but I will be doing, um, hopefully towards the end of this month, a fancy fold class um, with lots of different um, cards that you can do and you'll get all the goodies you need included at a, um, a really good price with the class. So there we go. I hope you've enjoyed making that. This is my arrow fold tuxedo card. Take care, see you soon, bye.